Hi, in this video, I will tell you what is cyber safety. Let's see. First one, safely browsing the web. We all of us use internet and we use internet with the help of some browser. We use Google Chrome, Internet Firefox, Mozilla and so on. So whatever you use a browser, it should be updated. So here the screenshot of Google Chrome browser. So when you first go into help, then go into about Google Chrome. So here you can see they check for the update. If any updated version is there, it will update it because update browser is very much important it gives you extra functionality it gives you extra security because when you search on a browser number of things you search num uh, so number of uh, so number of chances to get a virus in your system so if your browser is updated so it's a less chances to come virus in your system next is keep your plugin updated let's see this video so firstly you go into more tools then go into extension then go chrome web store this is the this is from google chrome browser so here you can see a number of extensions are available whatever you want you can select it so this is for a screen video record just click on add to chrome here you can see this uh, this is used for recording of your screen record desktop browser tab or webcam capture so this is the plugins which you can add into your google chrome number of themes also uh, available it like uh, you can use some zoom plugins is there then some of the plugins is used for online education purpose some of the plugins are used for work from home number of plugins you can add it so this is themes is also available number of themes you can get into your chrome which is uh, attractive your uh, google chrome browser with the help of this theme so the next is uh, install and use antivirus software because of the antivirus software your system is protected from number of viruses so number of antivirus software is uh, number of so antivirus softwares are available in market like quick hill net protector and so on so use a browser which is allowed to take you a bookmark so let's see this video how you can add a bookmark so bookmark is nothing but whatever the website you are frequently using it you can add that website into your bookmark let's see this is the zoom website which i use a frequently so here you can see this is a star button so from this you can add this bookmark so when you add a new tab so here you can see a bookmark is added the bookmark is very useful because each and every time i i want this zoom website so each and every time i i, I have to go uh, go on google then i have to open on zoom so virus uh, it's a high chances that virus get infected so if you are, if you are added the frequently website into the bookmark it is a less chances that your system get infected the next is block the pop up this window you can uh, you can see when you open any website if you allow this pop up window then it will redirect you to malicious website so it is an option for the continue blocking when you click on this that pop-up get 
block very next is clear your web browser caches and cookies so let's see how you can uh, so let's see how to uh, clear your web browser cache and cookies so first you go first into the setting then go just wait for a minute just go for the setting then go here privacy or security is there there's a safety check is also there here clear browsing data from here you can clear your browsing data you clear your your cookies so so that it's a less chances to get infected virus in your system from here you can block your camera by block your microphone whatever you want to block you can block that because through web camera through microphone also virus get infected into your system here you can block the pop-up and uh, redirects next is turn on your private browsing when you turn on private browsing whatever you search on uh, internet uh, that history of searching is get it is not display so how to turn your private browsing just go into the setting just here you can see is a history button is available but when you click on the new in the private window so this is the private browsing so here so from setting you can uh, see that there is no history button that means when you search on a private browsing on in private browsing whatever you search in that browser the history of your browsing it never gets stored next is ensure you have to update up to date firewall protection that means for you must ensure that your firewall is on so how to see this one just go into the um, firewall just search the firewall here you can see windows firewall and from this turn windows firewall on and off here you can see your windows firewall is on if it is off then you can turn on it and just click on the ok button so next is check your connection that means what here there's this is some this is the website and this website is a secure how you can see this is the button where you can see this is connection is secure so whatever you search in the website it's secure but if you consider the second website this is second website there is shown it is your connection to this site is not secure so from from this icon you can see whatever you search uh, on the website your connection to this website is secure or not let's see second privacy protection so this is a DuckDuckGo. It's a browser, and free. this is the DuckDuckGo browser. It's a simply a uh, private search. Your whatever you search, it is tracker blocking. Site is encryption. Number of users are this use this browser because they don't store your personal information. So this is one of the best way to browse anything on internet. The next example is so this is so uh, till now we, we are see how to search on browser and if we search on a browser how effectively you can search on browser how to clear your cache how to clear your history how to uh, how to on your firewall uh, you must install the antivirus for safely browsing secondly safely browsing on social network number of social media nowadays we are using it like instagram whatsapp twitter facebook linkedin youtube so firstly use a strong password never enter the password like your name your date of birth your aadhar card your pan card number 
so always set a very strong password the next is use different password for the different social media if you use a whatsapp if you use insta then use different different password if you use a same password then it is very easy for the hacker to get all your social account then set up your security answer you can we all of us know there are so many security question uh, they ask while registering on any social media like they they ask you what is your favorite dish what is your school name what is your paid name and these all are the uh, all uh, all the answer of this question only you you are know your friends is uh, so your friends is not known this one so it's easy uh, it's difficult for the uh, hacker to hack your account then lock your device very first uh, lock your device it's very much important so lock your device with the help of pattern with the help of number with the help of fingerprint then only accept the friend requests which you know if you if you know that person only accept those requests don't uh, accept the friend request which you don't know so do not share your personal information on social media like your bank number your uh, your ifc code your password anything whatever the uh, whatever you click on that link very carefully you can you you have to click on that link a lot of websites also available for checking the link whether this link is malicious or where or not malicious again privacy must be set uh, who that that means who can see your profile who cannot see your profile like that always log out when you use your facebook account when you use your whatsapp account when you use your internet banking always log out cyber stalking it's a online stalking how you know that cyber stalking is happen if you re- if you receive frequently negative comments on social media if you re- if you frequently receive messages and email if you feel that e- uh, your location get uh, track if you feel that your phone get hang then uh, cyber stalking is nothing but they uh, stolen the your personal information they create a fake profile and they create a request from that fake profile fake profile to you and if you accept that fake profile request then uh, from that uh, profile uh, they can um, stalking you so always accept the request which you know hijack your webcam so uh, cyber stalker uh, told you in such a way that or in a such a attractive way that you must install this software so that you can uh, enjoy uh, this type of information or uh, you you will love it if you install this software so if you install that software then your web camera of your laptop get hang and whatever you do then uh, whatever you do then they can see it through that web camera so always be sure safely accessing a uh, website because number of uh, viruses are infected into your website so these are some uh, very basic viruses like first wh- what is meaning of viruses viruses means vital information records so it's a malicious program or software which is installed in your system and it is installed in your system without your permission this is nothing but viruses if you click on the malicious link then from that malicious link the virus is get infected in your system malware is nothing but a malicious software if you install very unknown software in your uh, system then your then the virus get uh, get installed in your system adware it's advertising supported software uh, number of number of time we can see when you open any website at that time uh, advertisement is pop up like if you buy one get one free or uh, or win uh, 2000 rupees win 3000 monies like attractive advertisement get pop up pop up so if you click on that advertisement viruses malware adware get infected into your system so these are some basic information about the viruses malware and adware 
so be sure when you using any social social account be sure when you search on internet so thank you thank you so much